Anything that's shit, we can just cut out. Oh, no, we've no, begun no. the podcast. Oh, damn it. You, um, press, you press record way too early. Welcome oh, to really. the first episode of... of um, take it away. Uh, yeah, sorry. Of, of um, Is it... Whose the, name? The Late first? Night... It was Blake and Josh, I, I think, to be Josh alphabetically. Oh, okay, Josh and Blake. It has a better ring. Well, I understand why you'd put my name first. You're the better looking. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't don't. Now I look like the asshole. Yeah. I don't look like anything. This is a podcast. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're off to a great start. Well, you got a face for radio, Josh. Oh, a face for radio. Yeah. Oh, I've heard that joke before. <laughs> no. Who did it? Was okay. it Gabriel? I, d- I don't know. Gabriel. I don't know, I don't know who that Gabriel is. Gabriel. Who lives on something. Street. Oh great! What are oh, you doing? No. We broke the first rule <laughs> we, we made. We don't. We're working on one names. of the first rules we made for this podcast, ladies and gentlemen, whoever's listening, is uh, we weren't going to mention names or locations. And you, you um, fucked it already. And I've already mentioned Gabe's. However, that is because Gabe has expressed interest to be <laughs> in this podcast in the future. <laughs> And we're still deciding on whether we want to let him boost his ego yeah. by being in something. I mean, he already has um, the shitty comedy group, The Boyos. Oh, that... There's an advertisement. Uh, check out The Boyos Shindig on Facebook. Oh, um, look, everything I do doesn't have to be relating to The well, Boyos. Well, looks like it's back there already. Oh, Blake, why'd you bring it up? We're a minute why'd and a half in, and you're already um, mm. talking about The Boyos Shindig oh, as no. well. You know, do you know what I realised, Josh? I don't um, know, Blake. What did you realise? We haven't done an opening. Oh. No, no one listening to this... I mean, they've read the name of it, obviously, because we put it on the link. Did we? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's in, in the, the future. future. Yeah. Um, in but, the past. Yeah. But uh, this is the Josh and Blake late night show. Late night show. Yeah. It is currently 9.15. It is. PM. He's not lying. Which is late enough. Yeah, I think so. Most of us go to bed before that anyway. Yes, because we are good students. Good we are <laughs> oh we can bleep that we can bleep yeah it. i think okay. we might bleep that one. Oh, i that's said a, another one that's... no uh, the first word was a pretty heavy word um, look i don't know how much swearing we're gonna have in this no but um for the viewers at home the viewers the viewers home, the listeners um like you know audio files i don't know who's gonna listen to this who's gonna be offended by words like that i don't know who's gonna be interested in this oh us. <laughs> us. It, this is mainly for us. So to explain what we're doing here. Yep. Um, it was an idea from Blake that we had. Because one time we were in a tent together. And we started talking random stuff and improvising a little bit. And we thought, hey, this is kind of fun. Why haven't we ever done a podcast? Because, you know, Blake and I are friends. Best yes, friends. Best friends. Best friends. Best friends forever. And um, um, we wanted to do some podcast. Basically, for our own benefit, and not for anyone else's. No, and so, I find that's most of what I do, and in general, mm. is just pleasing myself mm. and doing weird shit. No one really should. Look Late at, at night. Mm. Yeah. Um. Late at night. <laughs> so Blake is insinuating that I do sexual things <laughs> late at night. Thank for you myself. for explaining the joke, Josh. Um, I'm just for the always viewers here at home that are always completely inept. Always here um, to help. Yeah. So I guess this is just us. Um, just. Literally just sharing our friendship. Oh, to that the sounds world. so gay. It Don't does. Do that. It does. Don't sounds do that. a little bit. Uh, I'm not a puffy fag. <laughs> I'm a sexual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's us sharing Blake and Josh with everyone. Yeah. For the for anyone who didn't get it, when I said puffy fag, I'm not actually trying to insult anyone. Oh. Thanks, uh, it's Josh. just a banter I throw. Oh. Call me a straight white man. I'm not really. You're a straight white man. Pretty brown. <laughs> <laughs> the listeners at home would not know. The listeners, they wouldn't. They, what if I spoke like this? What would I be? Is that, are you yeah. saying that deep voice people are brown? I don't know. I'm not saying We're getting a little bit too political. Josh, I, I think, think we are. I think, so I think, um, um, should we want to explain more about the Genesis? I, I yeah. I think um, what this is supposed to be. It's just um, us kind of chucking banter and um, having a bit of... Um, Josh just picked his nose, everybody. Yeah. Um, I saw the flaky little bit on his on his index finger. Now wrong. he's he's standing up to go get rid of it. Put it um, on a tissue. Put it in a tissue. Yep. Thanks, Josh. Put your snot in a tissue, folks. Don't don't flick it. At, don't flick the it. Ground. There's your first bit of advice from Joshua Rognoni in the first episode of Josh and Blake Late Night Show. Little when you pick your nose, yeah, a little bit of self plugging. When you pick your nose, don't flick it. Eat it. 
put it in a in tissue. In tissue and then eat it. And eat the tissue. Uh, yummy in your tummy, says Josh. <laughs> yeah. That was me, by the way. I don't know if, like, in my voice sounds similar. Yeah, so I, don't, to, I didn't think about before that. Before every sentence, I'll say my yeah. first name yeah. and so my like middle name. When we're... When we're what? Um, no. Joshua Logan. No. Hi, Blake. How are you? Uh, Blake, Blake James. Be- John. Blake Benjamin. Benjamin. Uh, Blake John. Good, thanks. Um, Josh, how are you? Oh, Josh Logan. I'm good. I think this bit has gone on long enough. <laughs> it's a shitty bit. It's, no, you're a <laughs> shitty bit. You're yeah. like... The the gristle in a sausage. I, I, You've, I'm a vegetarian oh, for all the viewers at home. Uh, Thank you. you. Don't eat meat. I'm glad you lasted five minutes without saying that. Well, uh, but you, you lasted a minute, minute and a half without mentioning boyos. So I think that's both <laughs> things. Well, that's a good roast there. <laughs> a vegetable Bats. roast. Mm. Oh, we both just dabbed. Yeah, if only they could see us. Yeah. But they can't, and I'm um, glad. Cool. So, um, yeah. This Should is we just... talk about what this is? Yep, yes, we are. <laughs> This is us, um, half an hour in a room, um, talking to possibly a, a bit of misconduct. Yes, in a sexual manner. No, no, just oh, us sorry. talking in a room. Just us <laughs> locked in a room, yep. a small in room. Josh's little cozy little, little house, comfortable. And I'm gonna take together. over now. Um, <laughs> in a room, <laughs> just together in a room, just together in a room. And the door's locked. Yes, and um, um, that's a hand on my thigh. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is us just, I think we've got some segments and we've got some ideas from segments and got some ideas for the future of the show. Um, I can't believe I just called it a show. The show. It's just us having a conversation. Anyway. Oh, um, I've the just, best things in life. The, you know? Yeah. I've, uh, um, I guess I've just been inspired by like different podcasts that I've kind of listened to. Yeah. Like Seinfeld, really that podcast. classic podcast. Jerry Seinfeld. Um, Casablanca. Mm-hmm. That also, that, that yeah. wonderful, wonderful podcast. Oh, 1946. Yeah. That was podcast. probably like the pinnacle of classic podcasts. Yeah. Um, and I've just been inspired by great works of art like that. And um, I thought, well, you know what? Anyone can make great works of art. Mm. So I'm going to give it a shot <laughs> with Josh. Great works of art. Yep. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> strap yourselves in, for, fasten for, your seatbelts. <laughs> Blake and I don't ever talk over each other. No, we we never do t- bits really well. No, like, we got to figure that That's out. That's the best part about us is we just never talk over the top no. of each other, ever. There's sometimes where we just talk have, over the we're just having conversations other. all the time. It's great. At the same time, and mm. we're kind of running mm. simultaneously. What did you do on last holiday? <laughs> um, uh, not so, as in, like, the Christmas holidays, but as in your like your semester break and then um, holidays. Is this a serious question? I don't know. Should I move on? Yeah. Okay. Um. So the next, uh, the first the viewers are just wondering. Yeah, the first, what did he do the that first, he didn't want to talk about? Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh the suspense. Um. The first um segment that we've got um this evening for um everyone is um in the news. In the news. Are we going to do the first segment? This is the first segment. Okay, in the news. In what's, the news. What's the news? Well... Oh, wait. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Tonight on the news. Um, what's... Okay, what kind of news do you want? I'm your host. Do you want good John news? John Trebek. All right, here's some good news. Let's talk about it. Okay, um, no. That's depressing. No, I want... Is it depressing? No, oh. it's... Oh, hang on. Oh. No, we're not talking about that. Um, meet Australia's first men's shed for dads and granddads of kids with autism. Oh, that there's so much in that that yeah, we'll have to unpack. There's nothing in that. That's no, just that's a, a good a thing. Good piece. Of, is it South Brisbane Group men's allows Australian. men to chat about their life? That's good. Oh, good tackling masculinity. See, yeah. the thing about the news is, um, it's it says it's the news, which says it's new, right? But With regardless of what end. it is, it will always be, always to be, in the past. So it's not. Olds. It's the olds. Is I think I we've think got a problem. This segment with the, has to be called in the olds. In the olds from now on. Yep. But we'll say in the news as well, for, in case people are confused <laughs> about what we're doing. No. Also, no. The thing about the news is it's so political that the moment that you talk about the news. Josh, I um, lost my pen for a second, know, so I couldn't write down in the old in uh, my handy little notebook. Damn, that idea could have been forgotten. Yes. 
See, the Certainly thing about the, the thing about the everything. news is it's so political that if you give your opinion on it, um, you know, other people will um, dislike your opinion. So mm-hmm. you should always never talk about anything De- that's, proper. I mean, if there's anything... You should never stand up for what you believe no, in. if there's anything good that I've gotten from the way the media and the government talk to its people is that you should just never talk about things from your own perspective you should never talk um i think actually period we should take that advice in for this podcast and starting from now we um will take that advice it was shit advice (laughs) um but anyway back to our segment in the old Um, in the news I i found a good piece of news okay um so nasa responds to job application from nine year old guardians of the galaxy so this this kid, he wrote to NASA, and he's like, "I want to be a Guardians of the Galaxy," which is obviously based. To come it's from not the good film. grammar from him, but he's nine, no, so it's yeah. okay. Here's, do you want me to read you the letter? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, dear NASA, dear NASA, my good name start. is Jack Davis, ja- Dak and Davis. I would like to apply for the Planetary Protection Officer job. Okay. I may be nine. But maybe, I think he may be, but he might not either. Yeah, I could be nine. He's a sneaky bugger. <laughs> you never know what he might pull or out. Am I ten? Oh, who knows? <laughs> Have I hit the double digits? You never yet? know what he might pull out. <laughs> Is it a big penis? <laughs> I may be nine, but I think I would be fit for the job. One of oh, the reasons fit. is my sister says I am an alien. Oh. Um. Oh, older sisters—they're always tough, aren't they? That's great. I can't actually read the rest of the. Thing. Why not? Do you have Gabe disease? Um, no. That's dyslexia, folks, is that, what we're talking about. Why are we just talking about Gabe? Because <laughs> he's the easiest one I think to we're going to have to bleep out no, we're not gonna bleep that out. man. Well, we're going to bleep out the bit about his location in Toowoomba. That's it. In where, Josh? <laughs> You're right. Boop. In blue. <laughs> in blue is just so correct. Sweet. So that was a good story. I think I did a good um, joke. Do there. you think... Um, what do you think about nine? Honestly, Jack wanting to be Guardian of the Galaxy. You see, the the news s- says Guardian of the Galaxy in the headline, but in the letter he says Planetary Protection Officer. So like he's like he's fully serious about this. Like he mm. wants to protect the planet. Mm, and I then agree. the news is like, oh, he wants to be Star Lord from Guardian. And he Jack is at home going, no, like legit, I want to be Planetary Protection Officer. You're taking the piss out of me. I've it's got like, to admit, for like one second there, I kind of completely yeah you didn't hear didn't anything I said, did you? anything you said. I like I looked, saw the look in your I, eyes. <laughs> I looked at the thing, at the, at the computer where it's recording, right? And I thought to myself, I hope I have enough storage on my computer for this. I'm sure I do. I just haven't ever gone through and deleted oh, it. And no. I've had it for three years. And then I thought about a different segment that we could have. Like, yeah, at the 15 minute point, we have like a, a little break where we're like, oh, we're going on a break, but we don't actually go on a break or something really yeah, stupid. That's um, pretty and good I segment. didn't listen to anything Blake nice said. Nice foreshadowing. What'd you say? Um, doesn't matter now. <laughs> okay. You can go listen to it on the podcast. You're um, right. You're right. I should literally have the can first I... time you hear it is when we listen to it on the podcast. If you think about it, what you asked me, what do you think about this? And then you talked about what you thought about well, it. Well, because you give me, so, you look glazed over. I'm you gave not... me a glazed over look, and I was like, well, he's not in the room. Come on. So I bet I'm I, your friend here. I better start. Talking. Don't dig me into a hole. Oh, yeah, sorry. Help me out. Oh, my phone's going flat. So that's the news okay. done. His phone's um, going fat, ladies and gentlemen. It's having too carb, too many carbohydrates. News? Um, no, I'd like to talk. Olds? I'd like to talk about for for a second. Yeah. I think people will find it annoying if you're speaking over me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry, do um, you want to like tap the desk when you want to? No, like, I'm kidding. Okay, no, here we go. No, Is that's that going to be no, really annoying. On no, the- <laughs> no, we'll bleep it. I don't know. Um, um, can't bleep everything. Censoring is for noobs. censoring is for oppression. Um, so I'd like to say, mm-hmm. um, I think it's really brave what young nine year old Jack is doing. Um, going out there fighting for his right to be an astronaut, um, f- campaigning for um, the young young people's association of astronautism. Yeah, that's astronautism. Yeah, you just <laughs> that's yeah. Anyway, great. And, so Josh made an inappropriate sh- joke. I didn't. I said <laughs> astronautism, um, and I didn't actually mean to make that joke. Um, I just I think we should 
all pay our respects and crowdfund this yeah, boy. Yeah, good job, Jack. All right, this is a 15-minute mark. Oh, I've got an idea. Dot. No, I've got an for idea s- for a good segment. Okay, so this one is called What's That Sound? Oh. Now, to make it kind of interesting and interactive for not only the listeners at home, but the, the, the people in the room, I'm going to get Josh to close his eyes. Mm. So close your eyes, Josh O. Mm. And um, you can tell me what they the sound closed. is. Just close. Yeah, they're very closed. closed. I can never tell. Yeah, Ready? Here we go. Closed. Oh, what's, that was Velcro. Oh. That was obvious. what's this sound? That was Velcro, everybody. Yeah, it didn't Our give me much segment. time. Sorry, audience. I didn't give you much time to guess. So, Blake, close mm. your eyes. Mm. Close your eyes. I won't do anything bad My here. eyes are closed. And uh, what's this sound? Oh, is that car keys? It is car oh, keys, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Well, he got it right. That was I don't a really know good. How he got it? No, that was good. We should have. Um... No, on. that was a good segment. Let's do one more. Okay, who's closing their eyes? I'm closing my eyes. Oh, you're closing your eyes. Don't um, tell me what it is. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh man, I. Hang on, I just have to look around your room. That's the sound of you looking around my room. Yeah. Um, ding ding ding! Uh, we've got a winner. No, no, okay, hang on. Just two seconds. Two seconds. Oh, look at this. Wasting the good people's oh, what's time. what's that sound? Ah, uh, is it... Hold up. Give me a second. I've heard this it, before. It is a tough one. I, um... Is it a shoe? What? Look, uh, Is it a shoe? You're close. Is it a shoe? Oh, I know. It's a guitar. It's a guitar. It's oh, a guitar, everyone. Right? He had me there for he, a second. He did it. He, he got it. All right. And Blake, now is your turn. Uh, oh, just like I thought you, you said one more. So, yeah. This is, oh, so, you close your eyes. Ones, yeah. Close your eyes. Yeah. Ready, ladies and gentlemen. Here's something he's never heard before. Oh. Um. What is the sound? Oh, God. Well, you have to choose a hard one. Would you like to hear it again? Yeah. Just for um, hang on. I'll give you a hang hint. On, I'll Joshua. give you a hint. Is that your car keys again? No. Oh, sorry. No more car keys. Okay. It rhymes with um far peas grown in the in the farms of the Lockyer Valley. <laughs> is it your which car keys, Which we don't Josh? live near. It is my car keys. Great. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a good so, segment. And that ends the segment. Uh. <laughs> What is that sound? What is that sound? What is that sound? What is the sound? What is that sound? Sound, sound, sound. <laughs> okay, lovely. So uh, uh, now we're on to our next segment, which uh, um, this is my segment. Uh, Blake didn't oh, okay. So this I just yours. this, this is, is my brand this new Josh's Josh's it's sneaky be good, segment because I've never heard of this before. So this is the um, this is the I act shy. Segment oh. <laughs> where okay. um, you, your job is to um, is to talk mm. to me and ask me questions, mm. and I am someone who's just the worst person to interview, um, and I'm shy, and we'll see how it goes. So just I have no idea what this. Is going. So you be the interviewer, okay. and I'll be the interviewer. What, what are we talking about? No, so you just got to interview me about things, and I'm just gonna be okay. a shitty interviewee. Oh, okay. Um. All right. Hang on. Um, there's nothing around me to give me hints. Hey, um, just, just now, talk to me. Hey, Josh. Hey. How are you going? I'm all right. Is this just you speaking really quietly? I'm all time? right. Is this what, is this what I'm all right. Is? Okay. Uh, do you like refillable display books? Oh, 20 pockets? I'm not sure. I'm really shy, so I don't know. Uh, it fits A4 size documents, so it's quite it's quite great. What was that? I'm shy. I can't hear you. Where the where the fuck is this going? <laughs> um, what's your favorite pastime? Uh, I don't. I I would have a favorite pastime, but I don't have any friends because I don't. I'm too shy to talk to anyone. All right. Um, do you when you drink? Coffee, drink, drink it out of a mug or a cup? Oh, mum doesn't let me drink coffee because I'm too young. She says it's not good enough. It's not good for me. It keeps me up past my bedtime. We're not doing this. No, we are doing no, it. No, we're not. No, the segment's over. No, okay, no. fine. Now I'll be, you be the shy one and I'll be the... What are you doing? <laughs> this is, this is... Fine, don't improvise. Right on. No, well, it's just me speaking quietly. No, it's not speaking quietly. As I just proved, it's not. Okay. 
I think I, everyone agrees that that was like Lasta. Oh. <laughs> Look, I'll come back next week with a uh, bit of another no, segment. I'll come back next week with another Josh segment. <laughs> And you just wait. That'll you... be the bit that everyone skips. No, that will be, be, be like, you'll be like, okay, so this is the Josh segment, and then everyone will hit that button just to skip forward and wait until there isn't we start a button. talking normally again. There's no skip forward button. There is. If there is only a, an in the now button. Mm, great. All right. So we should live in the present. The next segment of our, um, oh, we didn't choose this beforehand. Oh, we're idiots. All right. What is it? What is it? Um. Oh. You the one with the notes. Oh, I'll write it. I'll write something down, and we can talk about it. Look, no, I'm just sh- saying. No, we'll just... in that improvisation bit, you shouldn't have blocked me. You shouldn't have. Oh, you should no. have been open to offers. No, okay. I didn't know. I had no idea where That's that was going. That's the point going. of improvisation. Yeah, you I never just, know. I wasn't enjoying it in life, ladies and gentlemen. You okay. never know when you're gonna go, and when you're gonna stop, and when right, you, so where you're gonna first go. Rule of you never know. Is that. Blake is not good at podcasting. No, obviously. Blake is really good at podcasting. Thank you. But he's not good at improvisation. Oh, no. When it comes to improvisation with me, and I'm being a shy character, and he's being an interviewer. So in that specific bit, I was shit at improvising. The only way to be good at improvisation is to give it a go, ladies and gentlemen. Is to give it a go. No, is to just give it a All go. Right, so our next section is to give it a is, go. Um, our if you just give it a go. Um, we got to come up with a cool name give for it this. A go. What's a cool name for this? Oh, what's what's it about? Um, what's a cool name? Is it like, oh, um... Oh, ah, now is time for our movie slash album oh, slash great. book slash art review. Oh, do do do, it's a review time. Um, the um, cool name for it. Well, send that out to the audience. Yeah, what's the cool name? Uh, there we go. Here's some audience mm. interaction. Good job, audience good, good... Audience participation. Um, that... I love the patient. Yeah. So, audience, whoever is listening, please suggest to us... What you want this segment segment to be called? Yeah. What do you want this segment to be called? Um. Yeah. All right. So the first. So this. So this is not the first segment. All right. This is not the first. Segment. Um. Uh, this is a review. So what we're reviewing today okay. is um this the, the film. Oh. Um. Let's talk about it and not give the title. Oh. So in case and then people can guess what it is and they can type in the comments what they think it is. All right. So, um, I think that's a game, not an actual. So, interesting no, I discussion. think no, but it's an interesting discussion as well. Oh. So, let's see if they no can guess spoilers? what it is. So, no Inception spoilers, is a no. movie oh, fuck that <laughs> is made by Christopher Nolan <laughs> in 2010. Right, so, in case you missed it, the, um, the, the, no, film sh- is, the film is Inception. Yeah, sorry. Um, um, so the ga- the aim of this game for the audience is to guess <laughs> what the movie is, and for the first week. The movie is Inception. Inception. So if you um, but got, if, you, if get, you can pick what it is, if you can guess Inception, you win a prize. You, you don't win. No, we don't have no, any no, prize. no, no, no. The prize is next week. Um, if you can guess what the film is that we're talking about, um, somehow tell us, and we'll mention comment. your name. Comment because Blake will post on Facebook. Yeah, something will happen. Comment, It'll be there. Comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> this is our audience interaction. So, um, so if just, you guess the title of this movie. Which we'll, is we'll mention your name in the next podcast. Yeah, we'll just do we'll do a re- big old list. Yeah, and we'll go and yeah, just in case you've got. Yeah, uh, the movie is Inception, and so um, if you get it, your name's in next week. Inception. Anyway, so let's talk about the movie. Okay, what do you think of Inception? Um, my honest thoughts mm. <laughs> about the movie, um, is. Inception is a really... It's quite a zesty movie, I find. Zesty? I, um, I, like it talks lemon about zest or lime zest? Like um, the type of zest that comes from the the jar of all-purpose seasoning that you can get from a supermarket for $3.90. Um, That's oddly specific. It, It's what I thought of. Um, <laughs> is that what you bought today? I, no, I bought it about three months ago when I moved out, and it has lasted me... For ages. Anyway, back to the movie. Inception. Um. <clears throat> so the I really like the way that it talks about uh, the dream within a dream, and it makes you question what is real. Mm. And the thing about the real is it's very hard to prove. Yes. You never know what is real and what isn't real. But one thing is humans always avoid the real. 
we always tend to avoid the real. And that is shown, like, okay, the way that we avoid the real, we never ever talk about, sorry, getting serious. We never ever talk <clears throat> about mortality and death. Yeah. We never talk about it. However, the real, um, in terms of Inception, I think that's shown by Leonardo DiCaprio's character right Avoiding. at the end. When he spins the top to see if it's real, and but then away. just walks away to yeah. his illusory kids. Yeah. Um, and was he in the reality? Was he in a dream? Does it matter to him? Because he's happy. Should it matter? I think the truth should matter. Mm. I would rather know the truth, mm. I think. Well, that's that's the question that was raised during the entire film because like when um, DiCaprio's character was going through those dream levels that he would just revisit those memories every time. He would rather, l- rather live in the, the good memories of his past than live in, in, in the now. And Alan Page's character was like the one who was like, hey, dude, wake up to yourself. Wake mm. up. Um, you know? And I, uh, yeah, it's that's a good point, actually. Um, it's, a br- it's a brilliant film. The, yeah. The score is incredible. What, like, oh. Hans... <laughs> oh. <clears throat> um, yeah, the um, Hans Zimmer's amazing and it was a really good score. And, like, super beautiful film. I like the mm. way that, like, when the worlds, they create yeah. them and just things yeah. like that. And for 2010, quite impressive visually. And JGL is in it. JGL? Leonardo, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yes, Leonardo and DiCaprio. Tom Hardy. And Christopher Nolan. Um, and and uh, Marion or whatever her name is Marion Monroe yeah um, it's probably the movie I've seen the most really yeah I, well apart from movies that I watch again and again as a kid like that aren't animated films it's probably the movie I've seen the most I um I see something different every time that's, that's what I love about it it's yeah. um it's something that like because some of the dialogue is hard to hear mm. for me I don't know maybe I just have bad ears kind of like Bane from Dark Knight yeah a bit hard to understand I was um, whose bane is better? That's, we'll leave that to uh, the audience. Um, you me, Batman. That's my, that's my attempt. Do I say the same yeah. word? You underestimated me, Batman. That's my attempt. Oh, I think okay. we both just made fools of ourselves. Let's do the Joker now. Oh, no, you do that my way I better. Know. I'll just let... Okay, fine, let's not jo- do the no, Joker. No, let, let Josh do um, the Joker. Let's do... The Scarecrow from... Um, no, that's a Louis C.K. joke. Whoops, never mind. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to... I can't, can't steal other people's jokes. Oh, no. Um, Ev- yeah. yeah. So that was... I don't know. It was a good film. I loved it. It really blew me away as a kid. Um, yeah? I can do an impression of Blake. Yep. Take it, take it away. Hi, my name is Blake Howard House. That's my impression of Blake. It's <laughs> really good, John. <laughs> oh, man, I thought I was looking in the mirror for a second. Oh, okay, cool. So did the audience, if they were you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, because you're in... Because I was me, and yeah. you, you, I was you. What is real, ladies What is though, real, ladies Is the uh, inception mm. of our time. So, um, we're, we're almost... To the end, I guess. That, that's weird. That does not feel like 30 minutes. It doesn't maybe feel it like feels 30 like 30 minutes. minutes to you. But... Maybe it does. Maybe it feels knows? like the longest... Maybe. Like, 28 minutes and <clears throat> 26 seconds of your whole life. But... Maybe. Maybe you enjoyed it. Maybe you loved it and you can't wait. No, don't talk that highly of it. Maybe you loved it so much <laughs> that you just... Oh. No, um, maybe you know us personally and think it's kind of funny when we talk. And maybe you wanted you, to hear more of it. Maybe you know us personally, and this whole time you were just cringing so hard that now your face is crumpled. Maybe you know us personally. You have to go to ER. Maybe you know us personally, and you knew that when you heard this sound, it was my car keys. That's how well you know us. And maybe you knew this sound oh no now it is getting cringy it was velcro no velcro is cringy man yeah it's pretty cringe um so really (laughs) um i think it'll be interesting to see what kind of reception this gets Mm. who listens i don't really care who listens i just know that i'll have a good time yeah listening back to it do we do we expire after 30 minutes I feel um, as though 30 yeah. minutes is where our content runs out. 30 minutes. We did. Oh, no, we don't expire. We could have kept going for an hour. But okay. 30 minutes is where we're going to leave it off because I think that's enough. Uh, we're going to have um, a little theme at the start, so it should be 
we should be stopping really soon. So Where last we, final word, final well, word. It doesn't have to be spot on. Final word. Thirty minutes. I, final Josh, word. I don't think it has to be spot. On. Final word. It doesn't have to be spot. It doesn't on. have to be spot on. Okay. So, okay. Look, three. I think that was Josh and Blake two, tonight show. Thanks everybody one, for listening. Bye. Go.